Good morning guys. It is Tuesday, December 8th. It's about 9 o'clock. I already took the dogs for a run this morning. I did fasted cardio and I came home and I had a protein shake made with coconut milk. So my fat for that meal was 6 grams. My carbs were at about 3 and my protein was 28. Seven, I believe is what a scoop of my whey isolate is. So I had that and then I'll show you I pre-made my pancakes because I am obsessed with them and because I have to go to the gym and then I have to run errands. So those are like just them hanging out and cooling. But I am going to bring those with me to the gym. I have a shoulder workout and then I have to go run a bunch of errands. I'm going to make a Costco run so I'll show you guys what I get there. But I have a busy day. It's just not very exciting to film. I have to like edit a video and get that up today. I'm doing my spaghetti squash recipe for you guys in the microwave. It's crazy simple. So if you haven't already checked that out, it will already be up and I'll link it down below so you can go see that. Uh, but my pancake meal for my post-workout is 33 carb, 34 protein, and one fat. As always, I eat it every single day, mostly every single day post-workout. So that's what I'll be bringing with me. It's pretty filling so that should get me through my errands. And then I'm gonna come home and eat again. So after that I'll have one more carb meal to eat and then the rest of the day will just be meat and veggies. Side note, um, I have a ton of Amazon Prime boxes here because I got a bunch of stuff in. But I ended up, so these were the first shoes that I got for competition because I need to practice walking in them because I can't walk in heels at all. It's terrible. But these are the first ones I got and I couldn't walk in them at all and I thought they were going to be much better than the second ones that I ended up with because these just looked scary but the platform helps so much so those are going back because they are like death on my feet these aren't like a whole lot better <laughs> but I can at least like walk without looking like a baby deer in them so that's exciting those came in I wanted to show you guys that and maybe I'll show you them on my feet later they're pretty hooker looking but they're fun all right guys, I just had a really good shoulder workout and I packed my protein pancakes with me. So that's what I'm about to eat. And they actually pack really, really well. Like you would think that they kind of like would fall apart, but they hold up and they're really good. So I'm gonna go to Costco and I'll show you what I get when I get home from Costco. All right guys, just got home from Costco and I have a full trunk to show you doesn't look like much but it's a lot so I'm gonna get this inside and I'll show you everything that I just whenever I come home Buzz comes out with a bone it's like his thing that he does he gets all excited and he gets a bone I don't know if he like wants to show me that he has it or if he like tries to bring it to me because I'm home but every single time it's so cute or his Kong and then he leaves them like, he collects them and puts them in a pile like a hoarder. Hi, Buzz. You guys wanna go potty? He talks. Buzz, you wanna go potty? Oh, you are very cute. Let's go. Then Rex is just like, he just doesn't care. Huh, Rexy? I just don't care, whatever. I just go with the flow. Buzz, sit. Sit, Buzz. Hey. Good boy. All the way. Sit down. He half sits because he gets too excited. Good boy. Okay, let's go. Let me warn you, most of this stuff isn't exciting because it's stuff that we got simply because we ran out. So we have trash bags, all milk as always. Chris's milk because he drinks regular milk. Eggs. These are just like disposable roasting pans because I bought all those turkeys and cleaning a million roasting pans while I cook them is really annoying. So those are all for convenience. Chris's deodorant, floss, a must have, lots of veggies. We have green beans, two things of cauliflower because cauliflower is my favorite. Some broccoli like that's like three pounds of broccoli this is just giant things of peanut butter egg whites and that is chicken and then i also stopped at target i went in 
just for this because Chris is obsessed with it. It's okay, I don't love it. It's the Tabasco Chipotle flavor. It's kind of smoky, but he loves it and he just ran out. So I went to get him that. And then I got some banana peppers because they're kind of like a guilty pleasure of mine. What else did I get? Oh, I'm going to Florida on Sunday. So I got a bronzer so that I don't look quite as pale. And a sweatshirt. But that was my entire Costco trip. I am about to make some food. It's my last carb meal today. Don't know what I'm having yet. Figured that out really quickly. Oh, also while we're in the kitchen, I'm going to show you. We went to Warren to where like my hometown for Christmas. And we, Chris and I got this egg cooker from my mom. It's so cool. It's like, it makes hard boiled eggs, but it also like can make poached eggs and omelets or whatever. But it's basically just for hard boiled eggs. You can do 10 at a time. And I love it because we go on a lot of like road trips to hotels and I never can eat the breakfast food there. So you can bring this to your hotel, get eggs and cook them in your hotel room. And then there's also this thing, which I have no idea if it works or not, but I plan on reviewing it for you guys. But I just wanted to show you that because I'm like really excited about it and I think it has a lot of potential and can make some of our trips a lot easier. So I'm gonna put away my Costco stuff and I'll make some food and show you what I'm eating. So for lunch, I have some broccoli cooking on the stove. This is the broccoli I just got. It's pre-cut, it's pre-washed, it's like the easiest thing ever. I'm not gonna eat all of this in one sitting. I'll probably eat some later or put it in the fridge for another meal, but whenever I cook a vegetable, I like to cook as much as like the container holds. I'm also gonna have some of these sweet potatoes from Trader Joe's. I need about 40 more carbs today, so I'm gonna have two servings. They are 19 grams of carbs a piece and one gram of protein. These are awesome. I love them so much. The ingredients are there we go. Ingredients are just sweet potatoes, and I'm gonna show you guys what these look like. I have to weigh out two servings. It's 85 grams a piece, so 170 grams. But the thing that I love about these is you can get such perfect portion sizes because they're small pieces and they're not all stuck together. They're like individually frozen. So that is what two servings of it looks like and you just microwave it for a minute, stir it, and then microwave it for another minute, and you have sweet potatoes, they're so easy. And then with that, I'm going to have three ounces of filet that's already cooked. I'm just gonna heat it up real fast, and that's going to be my third meal. All right guys, so this is my third meal, which is 34 carb, seven fat, and 28 protein. Okay guys, so I'm gonna try my shoes on for you, but I have to take off my princess slippers, right Buzz? Good shoes, bad shoes. <laughs> um, but something I discovered while attempting to walk in those suckers is that if I leave my socks on, which looks really cute, I can walk in them so much better and they don't hurt my feet as much. And I'm attempting to stretch out this part because it's like really narrow and I have fat feet. So I just leave my socks on with them and it works. It's not the cutest, but it works. So tip, I don't know how legit this is. Leave your socks on when you're trying to stretch out shoes. Here we go guys. They make me like a million feet tall. Cause I'm five nine, but yeah. So I've been doing all of my prosing, prosing. I've been doing all of my posing practice with my socks on and it works. <laughs> but there they are, there's the shoes. But here's what they look like without socks. A little bit more normal. All right guys, my next meal is going to be some protein ice cream because I don't feel like eating any meat right now. So I have ice in my blender. I'm gonna put a whole scoop of my whey isolate, which is 30 grams. And I'm making a chocolate peanut butter ice cream because I have a bunch of fat macros right now and I can eat peanut butter. So I need, that's 25, 30 grams of whey. 
You guys have seen me make my protein ice cream before. It's really simple. So I have five grams of baking cocoa in there, a half a teaspoon of xanthan gum, and half a teaspoon of guar gum. I also added eight ounces of almond milk. And then I get a whole serving of peanut butter today. Um, you can either put that into your blender and mix it into your ice cream, but I like to stir it in after it's already made. I just like like chunks in it. So there's what it looks like when it's blended. And then I get 32 grams of peanut butter. And the best way I find to measure peanut butter is to put the whole thing on, scoop it out, and then get your number that way and it'll be negative, as you can see. And that's just because if you take it out and then put it into a dish, peanut butter sticks to a spoon and you know you're gonna eat that. So you might as well weigh it out. And then I just stir the peanut butter into the ice cream and it's like Reese's cup ice cream. And then the macros for this entire bowl are 12 carb, 16 fat, and 38 protein. So that's gonna be like my most calorie dense meal of the day. Hey guys, it's late. It's like, for me, it's like almost eight o'clock. I've been working since my last meal, trying to get a video up, and my computer has been going crazy. Like literally, I've been working on this video for like eight hours, and I am ready to pull my hair out. So it's finally uploading, <laughs> thank God. But I'm about to eat, and I'm like so frustrated. I'm not really that hungry, but I still need to eat five ounces of chicken. So that's what I'm gonna have. I should have a vegetable with it too, and I'll figure that out. Um, I think I need actually six ounces of chicken, but I was gonna split that up into two meals, but now I'm just gonna have it in one. So I'm gonna get that ready and I'll show you what I'm. All right guys, so my last meal is, this is five ounces of chicken and it is 1.3 fat, 35 protein, and then I'm boiling some cauliflower here. So I'm just gonna have some cauliflower with my chicken, but I don't track that. So that's gonna wrap up this full day of eating. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And you should all go check out that spaghetti squash video that I just worked on for like my entire day. But I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. And one and two.